Hi everyone and welcome to Millennium Computers Online 5-Minute Tutorials. Today's tutorial is intended for faculty or anyone who may be supporting faculty and today we're going to answer the question, how do I use the Quick Launch tab? The Quick Launch tab was designed for faculty to provide you with really a one-stop shop for everything you need from the Student Fast application. First and foremost, what you want to do is pin the Quick Launch tab as your default landing page. All we need to do is click on the little save icon right next to the quick launch header. Click it and it is now our default. What that means is every time we come in to student fast from the applications menu or from the login page, this is what we'll see. This is where you need to be because you no longer need to go into the course options, filter for your classes to generate a class list. Same thing for grading. We've provided you with not only a shortcut to your active courses to generate class lists, but also a shortcut to your grade entry page. This is gonna be a huge time saver at the beginning of the term and also at the end of the term. Let's do a little refresher into class lists. Let's choose one of our current active classes. What we're seeing here is an enrollment listing for the course, including type of course, meaning lecture, lab, and tutorial, start and end dates, days and times of the week, and even building and room if these have been entered in your student database. Now the class list portion includes the students enrolled in your class. It also includes their degree and major of study if these have been declared. On the right hand side, you will notice small email icons. These are hyperlinked and you can click on any individual email to send that student some correspondence from yourself. More commonly, you can click on the email all students button and send an email to your whole class. You can send this from yourself directly, or you may choose to use a departmental email as an administrator. Then it won't be coming directly from you. This is personal preference. You should include a subject. You may include up to 10 attachments and a body. Now one point of note here, this subject recipient list in the to box cannot be modified. This is going to send an email to all the members of your class. If you want to send an email to just a handful of students, let's close this box and you want to click on the individual emails to send one or two to specific students rather than the whole class. Now, more, most commonly, professors will come into this area to produce a class list in a PDF version. What that will do is allow you to have a printer-friendly version of your class list to take with you to class. If we click on the PDF icon on the bottom of the page, you'll see results to either open or save. If we open, we're looking at an exact class list in the same format as we saw earlier, including the course details and all the student enrollment. This is formatted for your printer, so it's quick and easy to produce a hard copy. You may also choose to export to Excel, but keep in mind this is not a printer-friendly version of the document. Now, the other feature that you may not be familiar with is the Student Grades class list. This is an Excel document that we've added that will produce an exact replica of the class list, including all the student IDs, all the student names, with columns for grading. This is formatted exactly as it needs to be to upload back into the Student Fast Grading Wizard. It's going to make grading much simpler come the end of the term. Let's go back to the Student Reporting homepage to our Quick Launch menu. That covers class lists and the shortcut to your Quick Launch. Please join us for the next tutorial where we cover the grade entry list and how to submit your grades.